All right, I want to do a quick introduction video here to my series of videos debunking each one of Steve Anderson's post-trib moments. Okay, I'm going to call mine post-trib moment exposed, and I'm going to refute each one of his 60 videos that he made. All right, now I just want to say a couple things here. I wrote just a few things down I want to say to you before you watch these videos. Um, first of all, my explanations are not as detailed as I like to do, okay? Uh, the Bible warns about the time coming when they will not endorse sound doctrine. All right? And Steve Anderson's followers are some of the worst I've ever seen with that. They'll complain, oh, your videos are too long, your sermons are too long, you know, and all this stuff. I mean, I could have preached an hour on each one of the points he brought up, just showing scripture after scripture why he's wrong. But it's, you know, people wouldn't watch it and all this other stuff, so I just made them as quick as I could. And... What I did is, in each one of the videos, he'll bring up a point, and then he says, you know, this, this is why I can't be pre-trib or whatever. And what I did is I debunk that point that he made. And what's going to happen is people are going to say, well, your answer to him is answered in a later video. In other words, he'll debunk you in a later video. But here's the point. Watch the video that could, corresponds to his video. I debunk his points that he's making in each video. So don't, you know, put in the comments something about, well, he already answered this. And, and I mean, if I say something in post-trib moment exposed number three, don't come out and say, well, he's answered that number 47 or something. I know that. But keep, watch my answer to his number 47. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. And you'll notice in my videos when I debunk him, a couple times you'll see a black box you know, that'll be there, just a black square, solid black square over certain things. And that's basically I'm covering up the filthy ads that YouTube decides to defile our minds with. You know, I get really fed up with that. Um, my channel is a Christian channel, and I know you're all grown up and everything, you know, and you've, you're used to seeing it. I'm, I'm aware of that. But the point is, when you're watching my video, I'm going to censor the ads that YouTube puts in because I don't need people seeing that that filth okay so if you wonder what the black box is covering that's what it is it's a filthy inappropriate ad an immodestly dressed woman woman or man or whatever I'm just sick and tired of seeing it All right that's what the black boxes are and the next point I want to make is that my video review or video you know exposés of Steve Anderson are going to be very very harsh very sarcastic Okay, because Steve Anderson does not simply come out. I've dealt with brethren that believe in the post-trib rapture thing, and I am a lot calmer and a lot nicer when they are more humble with it. But Steve Anderson is just total out-and-out out arrogant, just, you're a liar, you're wrong, you're, you're this, you're that. You know, these pre-tribbers are false prophets and blah, blah, blah. So I just turn it right back on him, okay? I believe in what the Bible says about uh, rebuking strongly, okay? Very, very strong rebuke for Steve Anderson. I don't have much patience for him, to be very honest. You know, when he calls himself a pastor, I just have to laugh about that. Uh, he's not a pastor. Steve Anderson is a novice, according to 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 6, I believe it is. You know, he's a novice. He has not been trained in the things of Scripture, and what he does is, and he admits it, that he is a non-dispensational believer. So, the whole book... You just go through the whole book, you take things out of here, and you go over to here, and you say, this is for me, this is for me, the whole book's for me. Um, no real student of Scripture would do that. Any real student of Scripture will acknowledge at least two dispensations. You say, what are they? Well, let me show you here. Any real student of Scripture realizes that right there is a division. Old Testament, New Testament. You read through the Old Testament, there's things going on back here that are not going on in the New Testament. Okay? You say, well, then the whole Old Testament, you can just throw it out. No, I didn't say that. The things that are written aforetime are written for our learning. All right? But you have to rightly divide the word of truth. And Anderson calls dispensational teaching heresy. Why? Because he's a Bible blockhead. He doesn't know the scripture. Okay? He is a novice. 
dispensational teaching, true dispensational, not hyper dispensational, true dispensational teaching is strong meat. Okay? It belongs to those that are full age, that can handle the scriptures, know how to rightly divide it. That's why he is messes up the scripture just tremendously. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to prove to you in the videos that I did exposing him that he lies. I've caught him lying. I show him lying on film. He says the Bible says this. I show where he's misquoting scripture. He'll, he'll add to, he'll change the word of God to prove his doctrine. You'll see him doing it in the videos. I show him doing it. He will lie about things. I document it. I prove it. I will show you. And what's even more than that, I'm going to come out and I'm going to publicly challenge him and I'm going to give him questions and I'm going to prove before God and before man that Steve Anderson cannot handle the scriptures. And it's no glory to me. It's not, oh, Brian is the one who conquered Steve Anderson. No, 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 no. No, it's not that. Let me show you what it is just real quick here and then we'll close with this, with this verse of scripture here. This is part of my calling as a King James Bible believing preacher. Let me just show you a verse here. Acts chapter 20, verse 29. I'm not going to bother showing it to the camera because you won't be able to see it anyhow. But you can follow along if you have a King James Bible. Acts chapter 20, verse 29. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock, also of your own selves. Brian, you shouldn't be cutting on Steve Anderson. He's a King James Bible-believing pastor. Uh, no, it says also of your own selves. Shall men arise, speaking perverse things, to draw away disciples after them. And I have had the disciples of Steve Anderson coming on to my channel, and they'll, they'll, they will mark as spam the comments of pre-trib rapture believers. They'll attack the comments of those that believe that Jesus Christ is coming before the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay? Why? Well, because Steve Anderson is a false prophet and he's drawn away disciples after him. But look at uh, verse 31 here in Acts chapter 20. Therefore watch and remember that by the space of three years I ceased not to warn every one night and day with tears. The reason I do these videos, the reason I'm... I made, took my time to make 60 videos debunking Steve Anderson. And I'm going to be making more than that too. The reason I did it is because he is destroying Christians. He's getting their eyes, turning their eyes off of Jesus Christ. And he admits it in his one video. We are not looking for Jesus Christ. We are looking for the Antichrist. That's what he said. So don't say I misquoted him. Watch the videos. You'll see him saying it. I show it. I document it. He is getting people to turn their eyes away from Jesus Christ and to look towards the world. That's why you see Steve Anderson going and, and going and, and harassing these guys at the, the checkpoint. And it's unconstitutional. I understand that. I understand that these border patrol checkpoints are unconstitutional. It vexes me to see that kind of stuff going on. But is that the responsibility of a Christian pastor? Do you see Paul in here going up to the Roman soldiers and saying, how dare you make me show you my papers? I'm a citizen. I'm a this. I'm a that. I'll fight for the, my rights as a Jewish citizen of Rome or something. Whatever. Bunch of ridiculous nonsense. He's getting Christians to turn their eyes away from the soon imminent return of Jesus Christ. He's stealing their crown. That's why I called Steve Anderson a post-trib rapture thief years ago in one of my sermons. You can listen to the sermons. He is a thief. He steals from, uh, for, uh, from the Jews, from Israel is what I was going to say. He steals from the Jews. He believes that he is a Jew. Look it up. Look at, check his channel out. He calls himself a citizen of Israel. <laughs> yeah, okay. He steals from the Jews. He kills your joy as a Christian. I mean... If I really believed that I was going to be facing God's wrath, God's judgment for, well, three and a half years, according to Steve Anderson, um, if I believed that I was going to be facing that, you know, war and, and, well, the Antichrist, and then war, and then famine, and then 
you know, death and hell, basically. I mean, and the possibility of losing my salvation. Of course, he says you can't, but whatever. But it would take away my joy. So Steve Anderson steals from the Jews. He steals their promises. He kills your joy. And he also destroys your crown. All right? He takes away one of the crowns of reward because he takes your eyes away from looking for Jesus Christ coming back to now you're looking for the Antichrist. That's why I'm going to be very, very rough and very harsh with this little false prophet. I call him a liar. I call him all kinds of names. So if you don't like the sarcasm, if you can't stand it when I get sarcastic with people, don't watch the videos. Okay? Just as simple as that. So you can watch the videos if you want. Stay tuned. There are going to be more videos coming out uh, debunking Steve Anderson, proving that he's a false prophet. So that's the introduction to the videos. Watch them if you're interested. Thank you.